Actor Preeti Zinta has filed a police complaint against her former boyfriend and businessman Neswadia, alleging that he molested, abused and threatened her at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai on the 30th of May. Zinta co-owns the IPL team Kings XI Punjab with Neswadia. The actor says all she is doing is to protect herself and has no intention of harming anyone, while Vadia has rubbished the allegations. The police have now procured the CCTV footage, which is being examined. Neswadia booked for assaulting or using criminal force on a woman with an intent to outrage her modesty after a complaint by ex-girlfriend and business partner Preeti Zinta. The 44-year-old businessman has also been booked for intentional insult with intent to provoke breach of peace, criminal intimidation and insulting the modesty of a woman by the Mumbai police after the 39-year-old actress asked the police to take action in a written complaint filed at the Marine Drive police station. Neswadia denies the allegations and says, I am shocked at the complaint and the allegations made against me are totally false and baseless. Sources close to Neswadia say Ness reached the venue at around 8.10 p.m. on 30th May. When he reached the venue, the seats earmarked for him and his mother were occupied by Preeti and her friends. As a result, Ness and his mother had to stand for around 20 minutes and that led to an argument. According to Preeti's complaint, the alleged incident took place on 30th May at the Garware Pavilion of the Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai. In her letter to the police, the actress says Neswadia started abusing and screaming at me, grabbed my arm and tried to pull me by his hands. The actress stated that in her entire film career, she did not have to face such humiliation. Preeti Zinta, who is now abroad, says this is a very difficult time for me and I would like to request the media to please respect my privacy regarding this matter. My intention is not to harm anyone, but only to protect myself. The police have ruled out any arrest before they gather evidence. FIR is registered. Police, they are investigating. The investigating officer is on the job. As allegations fly thick and fast, the Mumbai police will be depending on CCTV footage and eyewitness statements to arrive at the truth. Players and officials who were present during the alleged incident could be called in to depose in the case. And given that two well-known personalities are involved in the case, the police are playing by the rule book to ensure that their investigation is foolproof. In Mumbai, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.